everybody, how are you doing? Happy Thursday. Today we are talking about anger because I mentioned it on Monday. And uh, this is the season of goodwill. <laughs> a lot of tension, a lot of stress. Um, and uh, I really wanted to mention that anger is something that we seem to want to get rid of and we don't actually want to feel very much. But it is an emotion that has its place. Every emotion is valid. And at the moment, we have a collective anger that is seeping out of everybody, it seems, because there's a lot going on in the world that we're not happy with. There's a lot going on in our own lives that we're not happy with. Now, for those of you who know about the work I've been doing recently, we're doing a lot of um, cellular memory reprogramming, clearing up um, erroneous beliefs and programming that keeps us stuck in a lack mentality. And um, anger is part of the detox. It's part of the male and the female detox, um, clearing stored anger. But more and more, when I speak to my private clients, they're like, oh, I feel angry. I don't want to feel angry. When's this anger going to go away? And um, yeah, we can get rid of all of the stored anger that we have in our cellular memory. We can clear it out of our body. But if someone crosses your boundary, you are going to be angry. It is a valid response. It's a violation of your boundary. And none of us are programmed to respond to that with, oh, that's OK, then you do that. That's fine. No, it's not fine. So we have all sorts of boundaries that are being crossed at the moment, whether that is to do with our personal freedom, whether that's to do with our collective freedom, whether that's to do with feeling heard, whether that's to do with um, seeing changes take place in the world that really need to take place. Gaia, Mother Earth, is entering into a fifth dimensional reality. She's chosen this. They, this will mean something to some of you and nothing to some of you. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the pressure's there to clear out all of the... Um, energy that has been stored that is is not helpful in our progress whether it's in an individual body or whether it's in the body of Gaia whether it's in the collective consciousness of us as a human race it is time now to purge everything that's out of alignment with love with respect with integrity with authenticity with freedom with um, being able to really step fully into our own personal power so I would like you to embrace your anger this festive period, okay? This is a time to let it out. Now, obviously, it's not a time to be saying to people horrible things because you're angry with them. That's a triggered emotion that we then project onto someone else. But we want to find healthy ways of dealing with our anger. So what are they? Acknowledge, <laughs> okay? If you're on a bus and you feel like you're going to explode, then it's really important to take some deep breaths and to allow the out breath to release the anger. But jumping up and down, um, doing some strong yoga, going for a run if you're into going for a run, um, shaking it all out, screaming loud if you can or into a pillow if you can't. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the silent scream. It doesn't work so well for me, but actually really letting it out is very helpful. And uh, because I work a lot with pregnant women a lot and women with babies, I get this um, feedback that, you know, it's not good to express anger around your baby. It's not good to, to, to scare them. And there's nothing scarier than emotions that aren't expressed because they build up a, a sense of pressure around someone. So um, I think it's really important to talk to your babies, to your children, and to, to give the name anger to the emotion of anger and to be able to own it and to say, okay, mummy felt angry because of this or daddy felt angry because of this. And it's not a blame game. It's not about actually, um, you know, making someone else responsible for your feelings. It's about being able to own how you feel. So let's try. I am feeling da da da. You know, this is what's happening for me. See what happens over Christmas and please comment about your experiences with anger. I might do another one around this. Take care. All emotions are valid. Express your anger and then it won't be controlling you.